Welcome to Content Marketing Mentor, a weekly video series where we dive into topics to help you become a more effective content marketer. I'm your host, Maddie Osmond. In each video, I share lessons learned as the founder of the Blogsmith Content Agency. Today, we're talking about how to be thoughtful with word choice, specifically how to measure readability. In thinking about word choice for humans and robot users, a good metric to pay attention to is the flesh reading ease test, which I'm going to show you. So this is the algorithm that represents it. This measurement is something that helps you to understand content readability based on the average sentence length and the average number of syllables per word. Plugging in the relevant numbers, this algorithm creates a score of readability ease. This helps you understand if your content's readability matches the ideals of your target audience. Note that the average reading level is eighth grade. Tools like ClearScope and Hemingway, which I've linked in the description, analyze content and suggest a readability score in terms of reading level. Let me show you what one of these tools looks like and how it works. So this is ClearScope. Essentially what happens is you generate a report based on a target keyword and it gives you different metrics based on what's currently ranking in that search engine results page. Right now we're going to focus mostly on this readability metric, which is for this particular keyword and what's ranking in the 10th to 12th grade reading level. So we've already written this draft. I'm going to paste it here for reference and so you can see how it computes that score. And so as you can see here, our reading level is actually a little bit lower than the target. In general, it's probably better to be lower than to be higher than that readability target. So I'm okay with that, but something that I might do in the future is go in and re-optimize. So with all of that being said, optimizing content for readability is a good way to appeal to both humans and robots, because you'll probably find that within your industry, or even within the niche target audience that you specifically cater to, there is a target reading level. If you deviate from that in an inconsistent way, then it will be hard to build trust. While this isn't a ranking factor in Google, it is data that Google search robots would have access to, so it's something to consider. If you want to learn more about how and why to measure content readability, check out my book, Writing for Humans and Robots, The New Rules of Content Style, which I've linked in the description. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment if you have any questions about style and readability. To catch next week's episode of Content Marketing Mentor, be sure to hit subscribe below.